we have Lindsay Janice standing by there in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, the heart of the fire zone. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. Heavy winds whipped up those flames again overnight, but as Rob mentioned, the rain has already begun, and that should provide some much needed relief for firefighters who are out overnight battling the blaze and going door to door searching for the missing. Go, 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 go. The governor is calling it the largest forest fire in Tennessee in 100 years, right responsible for at least gone. three deaths. Completely gone. Scorching hundreds of homes and businesses. More than 14,000 forced to flee the resort towns of Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. Dollywood theme park narrowly escaping after desperate attempts from firefighters to snuff out the flames. Several cabins there destroyed, but the main park safe. In a statement, Parton saying she is praying for all the families affected by the fire. This time lapse shows how quickly the flames spread, sweeping across a nearby mountainside. These aerial shots show homes flattened, buildings reduced to rubble, cars burned out. The only thing standing here, a charred washer and dryer. The mayor says the next 24 hours will be critical in putting out fires like this one in this burned down motel. Bill Black is one of hundreds here who are now homeless. When I left my house last night, the fire was about 100 yards from the house. Black, a local right. minister, okay? says he came straight to this makeshift shelter to help okay, others, good. telling us dozens suffered burns and other injuries as they escaped the flames. We were dealing with 70 mile per hour winds. It just exploded. Again, this area is expected to get heavy rain today. Officials say they hope that will help put an end to a very dangerous situation here. We George? certainly hope they are right. Okay, Lindsay, thanks very much.